Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to Pez Become a Legend. Now, last episode we made a big move from the Championship with Millwall to Bournemouth. With that move obviously comes high expectations, so in our first game we lost 2-0 to my boyhood team, Liverpool, which wasn't great, but hopefully the next big game against Chelsea we can turn up. Looking at the transfer and we moved for a fee of five, almost 5.7 million. We've got an overall rating of 74 and we're only 18, so... To be fair, that is quite a lot of money for that age. For our preferred number, and I feel like because I, I'm more of a striker, I would like to change it to number nine. So Muse or whatever his name is, is gonna have to make way. A very, very big fixture. Bournemouth against Chelsea. Two of the biggest giants that we've played so far or we're playing so far in the Premier League. This is only my second game and uh, they've thrown me in at the deep end. So we're gonna have to see if we can deal with it and hopefully, Hopefully we can get the three points. Ah, oh, too strong. Welcome to the Premier League. Trying to find space for a shot, maybe in the championship. Go on. It's not something you'll see very often. That's nice. Little reverse pass. It's decent defending from Chelsea. It's gonna be hard to break them down, I reckon. Go on, nice, lovely running behind. Cuts inside. Oh, he stopped my shot just about. All the hard work, just not the shot. Great control. Spins away, in behind, again, too weak. Need to put some more work on that strength if we want to play in the Premier League. Ah, oh, passing good, a blocked their pass though. And we've given it away again, but it's all Bournemouth right now. Ah, oh, referees clipped my heels. Uh oh, uh oh, Morata's through and on goal, and they've hit the post. Can we clear it away? Well done, well done. Go on, get stuck in again. Don't give away a penalty. That's the one. Lovely ball. These Chelsea defenders are too strong. We actually can't get past them. This is a tough, tough game. Although we've kind of been in control, we just can't do anything really in the final third. What a touch. Just going to have to pop it off early. Oh, well, that is very, very frustrating. Nil-nil at half time. And we haven't had chances, but we've had little openings and we haven't taken them. Second half anyway. Can we make this pressure that we've had or these little moments turn into a goal? Won the ball back already. That's a good sign. Ah, oh, a bit of confusion in each other's way. That could be costly against the big guys. Nathan Aki's having a great game, but he's lost it to William there and Morata tries to get back into him. Well done, Bournemouth again. Well done, Bournemouth. Can you win that? He's done all right. What a touch. Go to spray it out wide. We've still got it. Don't lose it. Nice. Oh, okay, that will that be a throw to us. Yeah, that is our throw. <laughs> Lovely. Get in the box now. Oh, Chelsea defending well again. Nice. Knocks it off. In behind the gap. Bit of confusion between the Chelsea defenders. They've gotten it clear. Only a Bournemouth player to pick up on it. Back heel around the corner's not worked. Puts it towards the box, William onto Morata. Great challenge once again by Nathan Ake, but it's as Pilicueta is behind, it's into William. William turns, William hits the post, William on the rebound, and you get punished. If you don't take your chances against the big boys, you will get punished. Chelsea take the lead against all the odds. We've had all the possession, but like I said, it's the goals that count. Just a bit sloppy. Nathan Ake wins the first tackle, goes to charge out the ball. No one's covered for him, they've got space. William with a clever turn, hits off the post. Goalkeeper reacts late and it's tapped into an empty net. Unfortunate to be honest, very, very unfortunate. But Chelsea have taken the lead. Very, very annoying. 1-0 down, so now, as if things weren't bad enough already, we're chasing the game. We are chasing the game. Go on, be smart, get into the box. Beat them and get into the box. Okay, there we go. Oh, so close. Oh, they're just on to me, I can't do anything. <laughs> I can't do anything. You can really tell the difference between big teams and small teams on this. There we go. There we go. Space for the shot. He's hit straight at the hills. We got back in there though. Ah, oh, put him under pressure. Come on, where's the help team? We've lost our second game of the season right now. We could we could be one of those teams falling into the bracket of relegation candidates. William giving them the winning goal and it's a, a poor, I don't know if I could say a poor result. 
But given the way we played and the way we defended, it was very, very annoying. So with that loss, we find ourselves still lying in 17th. We haven't been able to register a point or even a goal yet. That's two games, no goals. Also on a personal note, that is two games, no goals for myself as well. Very frustrating. The only bit of good news we have at the moment is I've been able to get the number nine off of Muse, and uh, it shows that Bournemouth think I'm important, which I love. An uphill struggle. Eddie Howe has been discussing his team's recent losing streak. It's a crying shame, but we've just got to put all the previous results out of our mind and prepare for the next game. He's not lying. We have to prepare for the next game. We've lost two, two of the bigger teams, to be honest, so it's not that bad. But if we don't get the results against the smaller guys and teams around our level, we will be in trouble. Okay, so it's time for our first international game. Unfortunately, today we've only been able to make the bench, but still an international call-up for a new signing like me, just joined the Premier League, scored quite a few goals in the Championship. It's still a big thing. So we have to watch the first half from the bench, but I'm not going to watch it in slow mode. Let's speed it up. Wood Prowse is in the England squad as well. Another interesting one. Go on. Good. Wilshire, shoot. Nice. Ah, oh, they've got a lot of space here, Serbia. A lot of space. Deflected it out for a corner. Can imagine they'd be pretty good in the air. Kolarov with the delivery into the box. It's headed and they do get a goal from it in the end. So then at half time, we are losing 1 0. I wonder if Manny's going to get a chance to step on the pitch. Let's find out. Come on, second half. Here we go. International debut. We've done it. We've done it. International debut, but we're 1 0 down. I've taken Harry Kane's place and I have to show that I warrant it. They've been skipped past too easy again. It's into the box and they've missed another big chance. That is a very, very big opportunity. I don't know what the England defence is doing. Sleeping, to be honest. Not out to this guy quickly enough. Skips past him and then just puts a great delivery into the box. He's got to score. No. Oh my gosh. We are being opened up. We are being opened up at the moment. Oh, 2-0 down. 2-0 down. And this is how they're celebrating. Gone through the legs there. Just rushed in there. Who's number five for us? Is that Dyer? I don't know who that is. Keepers rushed out. Nothing. Nothing. This is poor right now from England. 2-0 down. I know it's only an international friendly, but still. Matanich going towards the box again. Lays it back and we're 3-0 down. What's going on? <laughs> Milinkovic Savage with the goal. Like, look at the, the way no one's pressing. Wilshere's watching. Stones is watching. Just allow them. They're overcompensating in the box. There's two people and there's three English or four English defenders in the box. And I don't know why that's the case. 3-0 down, I've barely had a touch of the ball and it's not looking good. Can I get on it now? Going back out there. There you go, Ali. Poor header, poor header. Are Serbia gonna come straight back at us? Probably so. Go on, Ali, put in a tackle. Nice. Good, Damari Gray. Ah, oh, doesn't matter, the game's over. 3-0. No goal scored. I still haven't scored since I've touched the Premier League. Obviously, this is an international game, but no goals in three games. So my first international outing wasn't very good at all. And I hope my next one will be a lot better than that. On the bench again for the next game. All right, so this time it's Uruguay. Last time, I don't even want to talk about it. Will shares our captain, and I'm not sure if he led us really in the last game. So uh, yeah, we have to show something different. I'm off, um, coming off the bench again, hopefully, and I uh, hope I can make more of an impact than I did in the last game because I didn't get to do anything, didn't get to have a shot. I, I barely played a pass. Honestly, it was just disgusting all round. Uruguay coming forward, ball into the box, and it's a bicycle kick attempt from Luis Suarez. Coming very, very close. Nice little build-up play from Uruguay, though. This guy gets it out wide, decides to deliver it. Great ball, to be honest, and Suarez can't keep it down. Come on, England. Get up the pitch. That's right. That is right, goalkeeper. I can't believe we just got smacked by Serbia and we just didn't do anything about it. Honestly, if that's how the international games are going to go, I don't want to play them. I really don't. Ball into the box. It's headed away. Still kept it alive. It's into the box. Another bicycle kick attempt. And it's cleared away once more. But we're on the defensive. Harry Kane was talking before the game saying we're going to try all sorts of things and that. We're not trying anything right now. It's all Uruguay. And it's looking like it's gonna stay that way at the moment. Look, they're just popping us around. It's into the box. Cavani, great save from Butland, I think. Oh my gosh. Tipped onto the post. No, nope, we've been triangled. 
triangle football from Uruguay. Cavani coming through and on goal. Great challenge. Love that. Just as he was about to pull the trigger, but they've got a lot of space in here behind. It's Cavani. Great save again. Can we clear it away? <laughs> Under a lot of pressure right now. Another opportunity for them to get into the box. We've got, got them rid once more. Now we can counter-attack. It's Manny and Lingard coming forward. Challenge is late. Challenge is late. Referee. Look at him. Torero. He's acting like he didn't do nothing. Give him a card. Give him a card. Oh my gosh. Play it. There we go. Go on, Manny. Who's in the box? Oh, he's jumped over it. Oh my gosh. Delhi. Delhi Ali. Could have cost us this game. It's through. It's Luis Suarez bearing down on goal. And Luis Suarez in this position doesn't often miss, but goalkeeper's done really well again. Done really well again. Go on, Manny! Oh! A big, big chance to still win in the last minute. Oh! Nil, nil, it's going to end. No goals in four games for me. And that's not really good. That's not really good at all. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Nate Fanaki is talking about how much of a big game this is against Southampton. It is a home game. We will have the fans behind us. But the bad news is, although I've got the number nine, I find myself on the bench. So maybe the lack of goals at England is uh, going against me. Or the lack of goals in my first two games for Bournemouth. So then, another game which sees me drop to the bench. This time it's a Premier League game and it's one that we do need to win. So far we haven't registered any points on the board and it's looking a bit worrying. Let's see if the Bournemouth boys can do it better than the England boys. But we've given it away straight away and Shane Long's thrown on goal. Luckily we get away with that one. That just does not look good. We are playing like a real relegation bound team. They've played it through. It's Redmond and he skied a big opportunity. Oh my goodness. More good football from Southampton. Turning, playing it over the top, just like you would in training. And he's just smashed it. He just needs to sort of finesse that. The thing is, if we score, I pretty much am not coming off the bench. That's the way it seems to work on players. Callum Wilson has made some space for himself. So in a bad way, but in a good way, I'm hoping that we don't score in the first half. Still yet to get a Prem goal though, I'm thinking about it. This must be like well, how it goes in the minds of uh, Prem players, pro players. Like when they're not scoring, they must their minds must start to like start turning and think, oh, when am I going to get my next goal? Am I going to score again? That's where the confidence part comes into it. Fraser, King, Wilson, Sermon, Stanislas. This is good from Bournemouth. Can we get into the boxes into Wilson? Oh, they've cut out at the last minute. So it's going to be nil-nil at half time, and hopefully I will get my opportunity to get on the pitch. We need a goal. And I do. I'm on the pitch with the bright pink boots. I won't be changing those anytime soon if I'm not scoring. Nice. Uh-oh. Redmond's in behind. And again, a squandered opportunity from Nathan Redmond. Another warning shot. Knocked out wide, down the line, made it as well, round the corner, go on, oh my gosh, get down, oh, gone for the acrobatic, nowhere near me to be honest though, flicked into the gap, they've defended well, they've given it away though, there you go, and again, can we finish, oh yes, first Premier League goal for Manny. There we go, some nice play. I was thinking maybe I would regret it with that little late pass, but it's worked and we've scored. We have scored, they made a mistake, little defensive left from them. A nice play between myself and I think Stanislas as we get that into the far corner. 1-0 up then, finally our first goal. Hopefully many more to come. Hopefully many more to come. Play it out wide, make that run forward. Ball over the top, you've got the pace on him all day. Can we get a shot off? Way wide. Late challenge in there maybe put me off a little bit. Could have done better though. Much better. Much, much better. Over the top. Takes it down nicely. The challenge comes in, but the shot is wayward. Cross into the box towards the back post. How's he got so much space and time? Can you close him down, please? Just about in the end. Oh, and I can bring this down. Oh my gosh, that touch was poor. Done well in the end to keep it anyway. Oh my gosh, who was that pass for? It's locked onto both of us. 
I'm gonna need to come back. Look at that, defending for the team. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And we can go on an attack here. Let's play down the line. Go on, go on, oh! They will just about get it clear. Not long left, can we keep a clean sheet? Can we keep them out? We're looking a bit short at the back. Good tackle, Nathan Aki, get that ball clear now. Oh my gosh, we're asking for it. We're asking to concede, but we've done it in the end. A 1-0 win against Southampton. A really big game and my first Premier League goal. It doesn't get any better than that. And you can see what it means to us and the fans as we applaud them for their support. Big win, big three points. So with that win, we go up to 14th in the table. And uh, it's only the one goal that we've gotten, but it means so much. And it actually puts us above the team that beat us in the last Premier League game, Chelsea. So after three appearances, I have my first goal, although my average rating is looking quite bad, 6.3. But hopefully that goal does put me in the mix for the starting lineup of the next game. Once again, selected for the national squad. I don't know what they've seen in me to do that, but you know. After the Southampton game, we're reflecting. We're saying we've really imposed ourselves on the opposition. I think today was more was about more than just the result, which it really was. You could see after the game, going up to the fans and that, it was really about more than just winning. Hopefully we can use that as a stepping stone and win the next game, which is away against Palace. And once again, obviously we've been picked for the national side, which I'm not really looking forward to seeing how England play as well, um, but it is what it is, we've been picked. Today we find ourselves away at Crystal Palace. We're wearing our white kit, which I haven't seen us use just yet, but hopefully it brings us some good luck. It's a tough away game. Palace won't make it easy, and I don't think it will be, but hopefully the confidence from that first goal in the last game will mean a lot. Come on, bring on Palace, let's see what they got. Let's go straight at them, straight at them. Don't let Zaha be doing his fancy stuff. Yes, we don't let Benteke turn. Let them know that we are here to pick up points. We are here to pick up points. Okay, Sako's just beating me in the air. Nice flick from Benteke, Zaha's been stopped in his tracks. There you go, pop it off, move it across. Nice, lovely, beautiful. There we go, go on, one more. Oh, what play that was. What play that was, the maturity of the play. We are starting to get up to speed with the Prem. Look at that. Oh, big save. Big, big save. What, how have you made that into a bad pass? That was a standard pass that you could have dealt with. You just let it run across his body. Nathan Aki is a rock at the back. He is a rock at the back. There you go, draw them in. Now play it, now play it. We're in behind, we're in behind. Can I cut inside? Stopped there, just about. Oh, who is that? Is that Schlupp or something? Who's putting in those challenges? Go on, that's the one. Oh, the pass is bad. They get a bit lucky there. Zaha somehow won that flick on. It's out wide to Punchin, into Benteke, and he's continued his run forward. He's in behind this time. Christian Benteke uses his body well, shoots straight at the goalkeeper, and we escape. We've just about escaped. Come on, be smart with this pass. Be smart with it. Just going to feet. Little back kill. It's played out wide. Little one in there. Oh, little trip referee, no. Oh, I'm not too sure how they've gotten away with that. Nice, nice, oh! Just before the half-time whistle, Jermaine Defoe with a very, very big opportunity to give us the lead and he's missed it, our, our captain. He's missed it. And we've moved it quite quickly. That pass down the line is on. Sacco's done well, but he's given it away. Cut inside away from Sacco. Once again, really strong play. They just, they just hold you off once they touch you, that's it. That is it once they touch you. Now Zaha seems to be throwing on goal. Can our goalkeeper get there first? He does. Well done, big Begovic. Van Aanholt's got so much space here, though. What, what's going on here? He's got so much space. It's into Benteke, who once again, what he's tried has not come off. Oh, can we pick it up? Sloppy pass. Sloppy pass. Well done. No, they get lucky there. It's through to Benteke. Once again, not really looking like his game. To be honest, I can't lie to you, I would take a point away to Palace. I would take a point away to Palace. But I want the win. Done well jumping with Sacco there. It's a ball over the top. Can I get into the box? I need to get into the box. Do it! 
There we go. Off the post. Rebound. Off the post. Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. That could have been the three points right there. Oh, my. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And now Benteke is throwing on goal. Football is a harsh game. Zaha now throwing on goal. And it is a very, very harsh game, football. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Up the other end. We've hit the post twice. Not once, but twice. And the Palace have punished us. This is what happens in the Premier League sometimes. And Zaha's getting very close with that fan. That needs to stop. Oh, my gosh. If anyone was going to do it, it was going to be him. Literally off that counter-attack. Palace have moved it. Benteke has done something good for once. Played it into the path of Zaha. He's taken a touch, another one, and just slotted it past our keeper into the roof of the net. Oh, so sad. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't even know you could kick it forward on the game. Do you reckon you could shoot? As Palace come at us again, it's Zaha, similar to the last one. Nathan Aki's dealt with it, but that will be the end of the game pretty much. As soon as this throw is taken, I'm pretty sure the referee will blow his whistle. <sighs> it's just a harsh game. It's just a very harsh game. <sighs> I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. I just don't know what to say. 1-0, uh, our third defeat in the Premier League. And Palace have really stolen the points. Right, so this time we are away to Brighton. We had disappointment in the last game, but we can we can we can come back from this. We can bounce back. So one nil loss. Yes, it happens in football. Very unfortunate. But what we need to do now is make sure that we get the three points, or at least at least learn how to score and get that momentum going for future games. All right, so here we go. Brighton against Bournemouth. Well done. Well done. Nice early challenge. Get straight back at them. Straight back at them. Found a way down this side. Kyle cleared away acrobatically by Nathan Aki. I think he's our best defender. He is honestly very, very good. I need to get on side. Wait, Jermaine. Wait, Jermaine. I said wait, Jermaine, and he just does it straight away. But it's all right. That's all right. Can we get into that area? It's cleared away. I was trying to stay on side there. Didn't want to be offside at all. On their touches, they found the overlap here with Bong. Bong's found a lot of space. Good challenge. They still kept it alive. It's Quido. Go on, get that down the line. Get that down the line. Not done too badly. Jermaine Defoe can't keep it in though. Experience would have told him maybe just to flick that on. He's tried to bring it down and he's failed. And now Brighton have another opportunity with Bong. Delivers it into the box. Nathan Aki's there. Best defender, I told you. And they've given it away. It's a throw into us. Brighton and Doni. Back out to Izquierdo. Deflected and Doni's been left on his own. He's gone into the box. That's a dive! Please tell me that's a dive. He dived, didn't he? Oh my god, <laughs> computer, you sly little bugger. He got booked for diving. Oh my gosh, that is jokes. That is actually jokes. Nil-nil at half time. So far, not real, no, no real chances in the game, but that is the biggest moment of the first half. The dive from Andoni, and he got booked for it, rightfully so. But I love that. That is jokes. Nice. Good. Love this Bournemouth. Love this. Beautiful. Well done. Ah, oh, Brighton have done well to see it out. Come on. I can see a Bournemouth goal in this. Lovely tackle. King's going to come on for Pew. More space for Brighton down this side. More gaps for Brighton. The diver and Doni back into Bong. Oh, and Doni's throwing on goal. Offside. Offside. Just. Oh, very close. 18 minutes to be played in this game. I need to be doing something, otherwise I'm not going to keep my position in the starting lineup. I think this time I might be offside. I've tried to clear it. Go on, get on their touch. We're giving them too much respect. I know they're playing at home, but I don't care. Better. Better. Do it. Love it. Dink it in there. Go on. 
Nicely done. Why? I, I called for the pass before. Oh, I called for the pass before. You should have just shot. I would rather take the win than the goal. I would rather take the win than the goal there. Oh, so frustrating. Not long left in the game. We might get one more attack if we're lucky. If we are lucky. Can I win the flick on? I have. Go on. Oh, Wilson's offside. Come on. And now I've been substituted for Musa. I took his number, but he's taken my position this time. <sighs> Brighton have it now. Do not let them get a late goal. This is not Crystal Palace part two. Do not let them get a late goal. Lovely defending. Can we get one more chance? No, we can't. Will they get one more chance? They might just do. They've gone too far back. Surely the referee's going to blow his whistle there. It's another nil-nil game. It is a point away to Bournemouth. I would have taken a point in the game against Palace, but this one I should, should and really do expect the win. Not moving much then. Not moving much then, are we? Uh, 16th. Chelsea have now leapfrogged us and they're going to 13th. They've obviously won their game. Manchester United and Manchester City going for it at the top and Liverpool not far behind them. So are Arsenal. Five games and only one goal and we worked hard for that one goal. The one against Palace could have been another one. So I don't know, it's not looking great at the moment. Team of the month for September and we are nowhere near being in it. Isaac success for us got in the team of the month. What did I miss? I haven't even made the squad for the game against West Ham. That's saying something. I need to go do some training. So, shootings there, physical. Stamina, I don't think stamina needs much. Our physical needs to go up. Oh, I, I need to learn the dripping, uh, dipping shot first. Dripping shot, I need to learn the dipping shot before I can take that off. So, oh, dribbling, do I really? Mm. We'll take one off shooting, we'll put, we'll leave that on three and we'll put another one on physical so for now that's what we're going to have and then obviously once we've done the dipping shot we'll change and add some more onto our other attributes so we can actually improve because right now we are not premier league standard and it's showing all right so all of a sudden i'm back in the starting lineup for bournemouth but i still need to find out what happened in that game so let's go and see where do i find out team results right how do I find out if we won the game or not? Schedule. Okay. Here it is. We lost 1-0 to West Ham. So another loss for us. And that's just not good. So today is, is, is a cup game. It's an FA Cup game, League Cup game, whatever it is. But the league is what I'm more focused on. And so far we've had like five losses. Right, so the FA Cup. League, it's not going well for us. But sometimes in real life, what happens is the cup run is the way to get your wins. Like, that's where you get your, your joy, really. So we need to give something to our fans. We're not winning in the league. Let's see how we do in the cup. Can we beat Watford? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Big performance from every one of you. Everyone, show some heart and desire. Go on, get that header. All right, you've lost the second ball as well. Come on, come on. And Watford are through already. It's Stefano Okaka. Oh, look at that from Nathan Aki. Take no prisoners. Love that. Big player. Very, very big player. No, no, no. Do not give them that time and space. Done enough. Why would you play it to me there instead of just clear it or just give it to someone else? Put me under pressure. Now Watford could be through here, Begovic, first to it. Shaky start from Bournemouth, shaky start. Win that header. Done all right, that's our throw ref. Thank you. I'm done. Ball towards the back post, are you challenging? No, you're not. Edge of the box, cleared away. Don't let him turn. On his touch, love that. Bit of passion, boys. Ball in the gap. We've come across and dealt with it. Bit more desire being shown. Little 50 50 in there. They get the advantage though. Akaka goes out wide to Pereira. Well done. Good sweeping. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, that is lovely from Bournemouth. Can we get through the gap there? Oh, he's going to chip it. 
Are we first to the ball? Yes, we are. Moving it along nicely. One more out wide. That pass was so soft. It was meant for Fraser. I think that's Fraser. Come on. Well done, well done, well done. That'll do. Why are we all bunched up in the same position? Go on. Go on. Can I let one fly? Dipping shot. Oh, it's off the post. Into the box. Get into the box. Oh, they know to just clear that out. I think that was Decore smashing that. Trying to take no chances on the edge of the box again. Played it one more. Oh, lovely turn. Can we get the shot off? Wide of the target. Making more room for those shots though, which is good, but I just can't stop hitting the post. That's gonna cost us for sure. But I can't stop hitting the post. I need to hit the target more. Well done. Get there first. Oh, late challenge, late challenge. See, if you weren't on your heels, then you would have got there first. Sermon picks up a card. Late foul on Chalabar. Oh, could be a red. Come on. There we go. Nice turn. This is good from Bournemouth. Can we get a goal before half time? There you go. Back in there. Go on. Can you get the shot off? Oh, what's happened here? The referee's given a free kick against me. I've just tried to shoot, bro. I've literally just tried to shoot. It's a tangle of legs. So frustrating. We've played some good football, but nothing to show for it once again. It's nil-nil at half time. It's getting back to those days, guys, where I keep saying it's nil-nil at half time. We need more goals. Hopefully, I will warm into things and start scoring more goals, but so far it's not happening, which is good. Don't think I'm gonna make that. Actually, I have. Move out of my space. Move out of my space. Turned away. He's very strong, this man. It's into the box and it's deflected, it's in. We have scored. I won't get any plaudits for that, but success with the goal. And we are 1-0 up against Watford, just about. Nice little bit of turn in here. No idea what to do there, Prodal. Into the gap, into Sermon, and success's shot is deflected and Gomez can't keep it out. At least now we have that bit of pressure off us. Decore tries to take it down. Once again, we've done well to deal with it initially. It's clipped into the box. It's a header there. Close to being a known goal, maybe. Pereira on the corner, into the box, out swinging towards the head of Akaka. Well done. No shot, no shot, no shot. Good, again, bodies on the line, love it. Can I get there first? No, they're beating me to it. I'm not trying to use too much of my energy, otherwise I will get subbed instantly. Clipped it down the line. Couldn't put him off enough. We've got it there though, lovely flick around the corner to success. Success, back in towards me. I'm not gonna get there though. It's on to Gomez. What can Watford do? It's late in the game. <laughs> they have not got long left to get a goal. Pereira works it nicely over Kaka. Pereira across the box. Lovely last ditch defending. Good. Can we move it now? Defoe picks it up again, tries to slow it through there. No, do not concede late in this game. Do not. Referee, blow that whistle. Go on. There we go. We are through to the next round. It has been successful, so to say. And uh, Isaac's success has obviously given us that goal. But yeah, we've come out on top. Finally, we've gotten a win. And we advance to the next stage of the FA Cup. The big boys are also going through, though. Arsenal, 1-0. Chelsea, 1-0. Liverpool, 2-0. West Ham have also won 2-0. Manchester United winning 1-0. Diddy winning 2-0. So, uh, it's not going to be easy. Tottenham there as well. Round three is going to be interesting. 75 rated now, I don't know if, if, if that's as a result of the training and stuff, but now we can go and give more of those points, obviously since learning the dip and shot to other areas of our game. So we do start improving and we get up to scratch with what is around us in the league. So for the sake of that, we're not gonna be learning any new skills just yet. We're gonna go with speed, we're gonna go with shooting and dribbling. Maybe we should put some on stamina actually, I don't know. Mm. Okay, stamina as well. Cool, we'll just go with this for now and see what we get to. Okay, so the final game of the episode and we are up against West Brom. What will happen? Obviously we did win our last game against Watford, but can we just start to build up? Can we actually start to build up some momentum and start scoring goals? We need to score proper goals. None of this sloppy stuff. I know I always say it doesn't matter how you score them, but 
right now we're not doing it enough. Where's the, the next person challenging? Okay, we got it, we got it. Go on, pop that into me. Go on, pop it. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh my gosh, I picked it up here. On the edge. Oh, referee. Are you sure he's got the ball? Just make sure you're sure. I'm not saying you're wrong, just make sure you're sure. Because they got a free kick for something similar. Paulson picking up that free kick there. Mm, looks pretty much the same to me. Pretty much the same to me. Nathan Aki, best defender in the league. Believe it or not. <laughs> best defender in the league, believe it or not. Can I be the best striker in the league? Oh, they've made a late challenge. Well done, stop me from getting that shot off. Not sure where it was going on that left foot. And now we've been drawn out. It's Rodriguez bearing down on goal. Can the keeper help us? He has. It's deflected and luckily, luckily it doesn't fall back to them. Success picks it up. Just about success. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't I'm trying to tell you not to touch it. And he runs towards it. If he doesn't touch it, because he's out of play. If he doesn't touch it, then we can get a corner there. Doesn't look like they're making mistakes right now though. Chadley towards our box. Chadley bearing down on goal outside of the boot. And we've cleared it away just about. It's going to skid out of play though. Rainy day. Across the box. Paulson tries the back kill. Still got it. Tries another back kill. Good save from Begovic. Keeps us in this game once again. We've allowed them to build it up too easily though. Across our box. He's controlled it. Back kill didn't work first time. Second time it does. Shot from Rodriguez saved. Can I turn away? Referee! Oh my gosh! Do I have to dive there? He has not touched the ball. I've seen those given. I have to say, I have seen those given. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh well, it is done now. We're going to the second half. Or can we? Or can we? They keep on trying these stupid back kills. Nathan Aki, the best defender in the league, is there. And he smacks it up the pitch. Still too much time for West Brom. Too much respect. None there though. King comes across. The referee's given the advantage to them. Whose side is this ref on? I think they have a 12th man. They've played across the box. They've back killed it. This is nice play. Once again, Big Begovic in the way to stop it and put it behind for a corner. Nice play from West Brom. Drawing our players out. Using that little build up play very nicely. Back kill first time. Maybe if he didn't take that touch, he would have done better. But it's a save from Begovic against Paulson. It's a very good kick. I've won the header as well. We could have something here. We could have something here. Oh, it's a ball in behind. Can I put it away? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Counter-attacking football. Lovely stuff from Bournemouth. Second goal in the Premier League. Does it start now? Look at the run. Time to perfection. And so is the pass. Defender comes across. Sells himself short. And I'm just able to poke it into the far left corner. 1-0 up. Against the runner play, haven't created much. And uh, we find ourselves in the lead. As is the way of the Premier League though, as is the way. Happened to us against Crystal Palace and now it's happened to West Brom against us. Manny letting people know he's there. Number nine, get to know. Get to know. 1-0 up against West Brom in the final game of the episode. Can we score more? Can we keep it? Can we keep this lead? We are yet to score more than one goal in a game. In the last few games that I've played. West Brom are going to come straight back at us though. Too much space. Lovely tackle there from Fraser. And he gets in front and clears it away. What are you doing? Success, why aren't you challenging? Bennett towards the back post. It's a shot there and it's a not it's not a bad attempt from Phillips. Not too far wide. Look at this. Worked it nicely. Drawn us across. Giving him some space. He goes for a shot. Maybe he should have gone with his left. And I don't know if Begovic would have saved that himself, and he's been incredible. Still working some little gaps. Nathan Aki, best defender in the league, gets across, but he's been beaten. And Paulson gets it across the box. Success challenge this time. That's better. Don't let him escape there. Oh, wide of the target again from Rodriguez. It's getting dangerous, guys. It is getting dangerous. Lovely little turn. Lovely little pass. Can we get it back? Here it is. Finish. Oh, it's hit. Hit the defender's leg. Maybe a touch too many. It's come back again. Space for a shot, maybe. Slide tackle's gone in. And they've won possession. There you go. Pass in behind. Manny, put this away. Oh, good save. Oh, it's kicked straight at the goalkeeper, though. I didn't really have much time to decide the best way of a shot there. Just had to take it early. We're moving it nicely again, though. I'm in behind. Straight at the goalkeeper. We should win this one, though. 
Call time, ref. Call time. We have won it. Again, another 1-0 victory. But these are the margins. These are the margins in such a tough league. There you go. Manny letting the fans know. Letting them uh, know that he's apologising for his bad, bad performances before as well. But he's won them the game this time. And look how proud he looks. Look how proud. That win takes us back up to 16th them. Still only on seven points though. Two wins, one draw and four losses. As you can see guys as well, we're improving. 76 rated now. 76 rated, that's two ratings in less than five games, which is really, really good. After seven appearances though, an average rate of 6.4, which doesn't look good, but two goals, no assists just yet. 50 appearances made now, and uh, we have 50 goals in 50 appearances, which at the age of 18 is not too bad. Anyway, guys, that is it for this episode of Pez Become a Legend. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. Also, remind me, how many more goals till I change my boots? If you watched the last episode, let me know because I seem to have lost track. I might have to go back and watch the episode myself. But yeah, leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys in a bit.